Hello everybody and welcome to KnowledgeBank.pro. Today's video is about what to do when Power BI totals are wrong. Let's take a look at a quick example here uh, and allow me to demonstrate. So we have a very simple data set that we will be analyzing. We literally have two sales records made in January of 2020. The first record was done, the first sales rep was John. He sold something to customer A sold $100 worth of that product and the margin or profit on that sale was $10. At the same time, Tom sold something to customer B at the value amount of $200 and margin was 50. So what we need to do is we need to calculate commissions and uh, let's take a look at the bottom below, uh, table below. So we see that now I'm looking at my two reps and now here, if you look at the first table, I'm bringing everything straight from the call, from the table. But in my second table, um, only the rep names come from the table and then sales margin, margin percent and commission are all measures that I've created. So let me fly through those calculations just to make sure you guys are uh, comfortable and you guys understand what's happening with all the calc. So uh, all of those calculations are very simple. So let's take a look at the sales calculation. As you can see, it's very, it's trivial. All we're doing is we're summing this, the sales column. For margin, we're doing the same, but now with the margin column. And then the way we calculate margin percent is we simply divide margin by sales and that gives us the percentage. And then lastly, how do we calculate commission? So it turns out we have some logic in our commission and the logic is the following. If my margin is greater than 15%, then we can pay 10% commission. If my margin is less than 15%, then we're going to only pay 5% commission. And let's take a look at how this works out with respect to our table. So now we're looking at our commission and uh, on the sales of, uh, for, of $100, John's margin was only 10%, so he gets 5%, which is $5. Tom, however, got a 25% commission, so he gets 10% commission, sorry, 25% margin, and he gets 10% commission, so he gets $20. So the, the sum would expect to be 25. However, Power BI insists, in, insists that the commission should be, the total commission we're gonna pay out is 30. That is obviously wrong. So five plus 20 is equal to 25, yet we got 30. What's wrong? Is there a bug in Power BI? Probably not. Probably there's something wrong with our calc. So I'm about to walk you through how to fix it. But before I explain you how to fix it, let me explain to you why it's not Power BI's fault, it's the calculations fault. And the most important thing to understand is that in Power BI, each cell is calculated without regard for other cells. What I mean by that, that as we calculate each row in our table, the total column is not the sum of all the subtotals. Power BI in this visual does not add up five plus 20 to get at the total number. What Power BI does is it, it, it simply uh, executes the same formula on the entire data set. So it calculates the whole total without disregard. So when each row here has the uh, wrap, the granularity of the data for this row is representative. Uh, the granularity of the total uh, does not have uh, the same grain. So it sees all the reps at the same time. So the logic does exactly what we, we spelled it out to do. It adds up the sales and then it looks at the margin. Margin is 20%, the total margin. And 20% is better than 15. Therefore, it simply applies 10% commission on 30. So instead of adding these things up, it just takes our formula literally and it applies 10% commission on the overall amount. So it does exactly what it, we ask it to do. And the problem is that we didn't think through when we created or I didn't think through when I cleared this calculation. So now that you understand why Power BI does what it's supposed to do, let's take a look at how we can fix it. Turns out it is very simple to fix it. And our friend in this case is the SumX function. If you're not 100% comfortable with how SumX function works, then I will link a video that I did a few weeks ago on how to, um, how to understand SumX better. 
So if I don't forget, I'll put that in the description of this video. But basically, when you take, take over somebody's model, so if you're lucky and it's your model and you understand exactly what the logic is supposed to do, then you can go in and maybe come up with better logic that is a little bit uh, more sophisticated with respect to different uh, working with different grain of the data. So it will be aware of how to deal with uh, grain at the sales level, at sales rep level versus grain of subtotals and grand totals. But a lot, sometimes you could just take over somebody else's model. You don't exactly understand what the calculation does. You don't understand the business rules behind this calculation. Somebody just says, listen, the totals don't add up. I just need you to fix it. And uh, you could fix it without knowing anything about this calculation. As long as calculation works at the row level, we can fix it and make it work at the, at the total level. And this is what we do. We use the sumx function, and the key here is the sumx takes a parameter of a table on which it's going to do its summation. So what we need to do here is we need to pull in the values of what is going to go into the rows. So in our case, we're going to calculate commissions by rep. So we're going to do values of sales rep. And what this will do is if it's in a uh, if it's calculating this for John this values function will only return John. But when it calculates this for the total, uh, we're going to be able to see both of our sales reps. So this is the first step. We're going to put the desired grain of our table. So it could be an order number, it could be customer, country, whatever it is that you're trying to do analysis by. And then the second one is you just put your original calc in. So I know that commission is broken. It only works well when we're looking at one row at a time. So for me to make it work in a, in a, as a total, I'm just going to pull it in. I don't, I don't even care what it does and how it works and what the logic is. Just pull it right in and do the sum x on that. And what it's going to do, it will do for every row that defines the grain of my table. So in my case, it's going to be for every rep. It's going to calculate that value. And then it's going to sum them all up. And then we're forcing Power BI not to do the sum on the total. We're, um, uh, we're forcing Power BI to do the sum on all the children and then roll it all up and sum it up. We're forcing it to sum. And now if I pull in the fixed um, commission into my table, you will see that now we're looking at 25, right? So we have five in both, 20 in both. And then when it comes to the total row, we're, we're forcing by using some X, we're for forcing Power BI to calculate that 25 at individual row level first and then add it all together. So as you can see, SumX is a perfect function to use in our example. Some, uh, it's very simple and it works really, really well. And most likely that's all you need to do without thinking too much about what's really going on and how to fix the original measure. Sometimes you might run into more sophisticated scenarios and you want to have additional control uh, as to how that summation occurs. So in our case, we're doing a sum. And when we work with uh, things like um, sales, it, it's great. But sometimes we work with kind of tricky measures that don't sum up quite nicely. Uh, there's another function that I like to use. It's called add columns or select columns. So there's a couple of other functions, more sophisticated, a little bit harder to, to understand. If you guys are interested, please leave a comment and I'll, I'll be happy to do another one of these and uh, cover it in a little bit more detail. It's going to be a little bit more complicated. So this is level 100. Uh, using those other functions, we'll probably kick it up to 200, maybe 300 level of complexity. If you're interested, please let me know. Uh, I'll be more than happy to um, do a video on that as well. Hope you found this video to be informative and very helpful. And I'm looking forward to see you back soon. Thanks. Bye.